installation of this instrument. As we can see, um, what we have here is a cloud, two clouds of descending. Because there are three macroscopic types, which are clouds of descending, clouds of sound points, and clouds of sound with charisma, which is a irregular oscillation, pitch oscillation. Now, if we, the second level of organization in physics of, deals with dynamic ranges, durations, and pitch range. Each of these parameters can take three values. As we can see, Zanakis used the group structure used by Zanakis to organize this level is formed by all proliferation of three elements. Now, this example shows two clouds of Pisanti deployed in two different registers, low and high. So these registers correspond to values three and one. As for duration, they are mapped onto dynamic, dynamic range. Since the two clouds present the same dynamic range, we must consider that they both are assigned the same value with respect to duration. Now, it is the vertical alignment of these values that determines the transformation chosen by the markets. Now, at the lowest level, the each instrument, as we can see, is assigned a plane technique and dynamic form. The vertical arrangement of these values within each subgroup forms a transformation, and the group chosen by the markets to organize the plane techniques and the dynamic forms is isomorphic with the rotation of the Q around its symmetry axes because it permutates eight elements that can be regarded as the eight vertices of the Q. If we rotate the Q, we will, that will create a, a different permutation of elements. And this one, which corresponds to D2, is what we find at the beginning of this excerpt. And we could do another permutation of the Q, and this, for example, this one, which produces Q12, and this is what we found, we find after in the second cloud. So this is the mechanism that Tanakis used to create, to create permutations. Now, this table summarizes the, the permutation that we find, find in this sound tapestry. As we can see, the material is highly predetermined by cycles of permutation. Now, as I have shown in relation to the graph, uh, micromontage are abundant, examples of micromontage are abundant in the Marcus work, but Kraner is probably the work where most of them are to be found. Kramer was composed in 1968-69 for four-tape channel and orchestra. And a detailed analysis of Kramer has shown that the materials uh, are borrowed from La Mosca We can see, compare Kramer, this example, with, with uh, where all these elements were taken from La Mosca There are a few variations, as we can see. Uh, changes of dynamics, contractions of di or durations of rhythmic values. But what is more important is that this example shows that the exits are extracted from different locations. The elements of Nomos Gamma assigned to the seventh first violin are superimposed in Kraner as if Tsenakis rotated the exit by an angle of 90 degrees. So, as we can see, there's a great deal of freedom in the organizational principles of Kraner. The Kraner is the result of a montage in which details are adjusted by intuition. It's not dependent on the formal structures of Nomos Gamma. Tanakis had already taken liberties with other pieces such as Peter Pacta, as we have seen. But there is a difference between the theoretical principles that underlie Peter Pacta and those of Nomos Gamma. 
because the Zenat is borrows lines from the Duke of Haifa in Tahora, we could still undergo a statistical analysis. We could still measure a new distribution against a theoretical one in order to assess the quantity of chance it includes, because the stochastic approach uh, pro provided a global definition of the music musical phenomenon. On the 